You may have read or heard about this hidden secret found in Control's new AWE expansion. And we thought, why not uh, show you it? Because it's so elaborate and the payoff is so underwhelming, it's worth running through. So, first things first, you need to find this hidden breakable wall. Now, you can find that in the Eagle Limited AWE section. Just past there, there's a passage called um, Twisted Passage or something like that. Shifted Passage. So you go past there, find the painting on the wall that's a little tainted. And then, as you can see, to travel up. This took a while for me to figure out because it, it's so unusual. But you have to look up, find an office on its side, and then go up through the roof. And keep following this track until you eventually come to this room where you'll see a radio. To the left of the radio, there's another breakable wall. You smash through that and then another tunnel. So there's already a secret within a secret right there. And on the way, why not just pick up a globe? She's got the whole world in her hands. Well, over and above her hands. It's something I said in my review about this. Ever since Jessie got her telekinesis, she has not picked a thing up besides her gun. I, we, I do the same, so what can I say? But even when she like wants a light, she'll just have it hover next to her rather than actually holding it in her hand. Now this is where things get off the rails. You have to go to this clock, and if you press square, you can stop it at certain numbers, and then press square to start it again. You have to enter 17716497. Now you might be wondering, where do you get this number from? And it's so obvious. What you do, you know the song um, Take Control that played during the Ashtray Maze? You listen to that song, there's some spoken segments uh, in between the verses. You play those backwards, you find a secret code hidden within that song. And then you translate that to the numerical value on the clock, and that's the code. I have no idea how anybody figured that out, but well done to them, because that's insane. Anyway. You see the ominous red room and you follow it and you may be worried here because if you die you need to go back to the last control point and go through this again. So try not to, but it's not a hard fight, it's quite basic enemies. So just take them down as normal, hide when you can, maybe see somebody to get some, yeah, like this, to get someone on your side and power through. So once you've caused enough carnage, taken out the enemies, picked up any items that you want to pick up and just survey the damage around you like a broken pillar that should not be standing and everything being wrecked, then go to the code. I always love the third pull, anticipation, and there you are. Back to the hotel uh, where you've been many times. This one's very different because usually there's some sort of puzzle and there's quite a few elements to consider. But here it's literally just going uh, to an empty room and picking up a card on a windowsill, an extra radio once again, and then returning to that room from the beginning. So very, very straightforward this time. In fact, I looked around quite a bit on this, just trying to take in something else, trying to see if there was another element I was forgetting, but no. And here we go. After all this excitement, here's the payoff. The Valhalla Nursing Home, founded in 2014 for Odin and Tor Anderson, for their twilight years. And that's it. Alan Wake giving you a little bit of dialogue about a nursing home that was set up. Or is it? Is that is that all? I mean. It seems like it could be talking about a setting for the upcoming Alan Wake game that's teased throughout this entire AWE expansion. But when you consider how elaborate this whole thing was, there could be more hidden in the game. There could be another setting that we haven't accessed yet. Who knows? We'll find out in due course, I guess. But for now, you get that little scene and you get a personal mod that allows you to regenerate health every time you dodge. But the amount is so small, it's not really a great addition. Um, so yeah, that's the biggest secret in Control's AWE expansion as far as we know. Feel free to check out our other videos, we have lots more Control, we have a great video on stress-free games, and we got quite a few for Trophy Hunters. So thanks for watching and leave us a comment, let us know what you think.